Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatak and we are playing Europe Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Rule Britannia, on very hard difficulty. Uh, we're playing our Holland campaign. Man, finally I got some time to sit down with EU4 and uh, continue this campaign uh, for reals. I'm going to record uh, two, three, four, five episodes maybe. I'm really looking forward to it because uh, this campaign has entered a very interesting um, point. So I think what we're going to try to do today is I think we're going to try to take over Utrecht. I think we're just going to take them as our vassal. Yes, it's going to be how on earth they were at minus 88. Now they are now they're even more aggro. Oh well. <laughs> um, I just I got to take them as a vassal. Um, everything else is going to be too crazy in terms of aggressive expansion um, which actually means we don't really have to wait for anything here we don't have to wait for the final claim um, that it was trying to go for I mean we have claims on Utrecht and on Galway over there the good thing the interesting thing about this is that we'll be able to pull England into this now uh, well it's gonna be England and Oldenburg that's interesting. What I want to use this war for, um, I mean, at the one hand, vassalizing Utrecht, that is that is going to be good. On the other hand, though, cutting down England to size is pretty important. They've started colonizing in the Caribbean. Let's have a look at their navy. So we're here. We have three heavies. We're a little bit light on the heavies. England has eight heavies at this point, which is actually considerable. That's a considerable amount of heavy ships. Um... Yeah, being able to wreck England's navy, they also have 30 light ships. They really have built up over the uh, past few episodes. Um, and they have started to colonize down here. Now, I, I really don't like that. They have Alta Gracia. And once they manage to call that, they're actually ready to also colonize the Americas, which I also do not want. So we're going to try to push our colonies um, to the point where they're actually sustainable. And when we're at war, we're actually able to either seize the colony or burn down the colony. And I think that's what we want to do over here. And I think I'm also going to try to, like, get that province. That would, I mean, it's in a Gambian. But this is going to help me a ton. Uh, it's also, ha it has a valuable trade good as well. Um, I think there's nearby merchant republics, trading cities, or trade companies. Yeah. Um... This will kind of allow me to move out further into the world because it's going to give me a stepping stone for colonization all across the African coast, but also in South America. Like, we probably don't want to leave all that to Portugal. That's probably not a good idea. So, yeah, I think, I think that's what we're going to try to do. We have Tupinamba. We have another um, indigenous tribe over here. Interesting. They must have added that in one of the past patches. Okay, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to attack Utrecht. We're going to hurt England by way of doing that. I am i don't think I'm going to pull France in, though. Pulling France in, kind of not what we want. Uh, we do want to have that fleet over here. I will pull back that spy. Actually... We kind of wanna we wanna attack from this side, because that'll allow me to go through, go through Oversticht, Utrecht, and then over here and just get all those provinces right away, take them out of the war completely. So we'll do that. Um, okay, and we can also like wipe their wipe their army in one fell swoop. Um, declare war. France would be willing to come in. Oldenburg is gonna join here as well. Um, don't really care about that. Oldenburg has like 11k troops. Screw you, Oldenburg. I don't need you. Austria won't come in because they're the emperor. Um, and I kind of don't want to use my troops, uh, uh, my my favors with um, France. Yeah, and we've got to take Galra. I think Galra is the one with more development. Yes, 17 versus 14. Right, 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 right. Um, all right, so let's do this. Declaration of war. We're going to go after you. I'm uh, going to take Galra. France is not going to be called. I mean, they would be kind of useful, but they might also try to grab some more colonial holdings and all that. I really don't want to do that. They've already grown really fat, especially with the last war over here. Uh, and I kind of would like to avoid them growing any fatter. 
That's just not <laughs> not what we relish in the Netherlands. <laughs> okay. Um, do it. Yep. So that's happened. Uh, I'm going to send our troops in there. Try to wipe them right away. I will also try to catch that British fleet over there. We have a really good admiral. Like, six fire, two shock, two maneuver, one siege. I mean, siege is just duplicating, so it's not that important. But um, still, this is going to look good. Um, okay. England and Oldenburg have honored their alliance. And we might be able to actually smush the Royal Navy over here in just one fell swoop. That might be good. Yep. Okay. Kill them all. Or capture the ships. That would be even better. Okay. We have a British fleet. Where are you going? We'll arrive in Dogger Bank. Um, kind of want to get these fleets right away. Um, we're going to leave just one unit over here. I have no idea how these guys managed to get out of there. But whatever. Um, we're going to leave a siege down here. And we're, gonna, we're just going to attack the Utrechtian uh, army in their capital. Try to take them out. What? Now my admiral dies? Okay, then. <laughs> Let's bring these guys over. Uh, we smushed the fleet. We smushed their fleet, that's true. Um, bring these guys into Den Haag to repair. But we also really need an admiral, even at the cost of Diplo Power. Although, I could just use an explorer. But we kind of need an admiral. What is our what is our naval? Oh man, we have 92 navy tradition. <laughs> we should be able to pull godlike admirals. Come on, give me one. Ah, uh, decent, not amazing. But oh well, the maneuver the maneuver certainly helps. Um, kind of thinking we might want to try to catch that Oldenburgian fleet over there too, before they can like unite with England. That might be a tad important. I think I'm just gonna pull away the ones that are that are like really hurt. Um, anything below, let's say, 80% or close to 80% is just gonna be pulled out. Uh, send these guys back. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. Battle of Utrecht is done. We got a stack wipe. Nice boys. That was well done. Um, and then we're going to move on the Oldenburgian army. Wait, we captured a ship. Galra is now under our control. What did we capture? Oh, we captured a transport ship. Well, I won't say no to that. That is totally fine. So bring these guys over. Um, Utrecht, Oldenburg, England. Did I see? Yeah. Oh, Cologne, Trier, and Hamburg went to war. With Oldenburg, what are they trying to achieve? Colonial conquest, colonial conquest of Hoya. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> I won't say no to that. You basically helping me in the war. I, I take that. Um, Anton, you have you have no siege pips whatsoever, so I guess we can just not do that siege. Guess that's okay. Mm, I will send my fleet over there. I want that repair pip. We on there on the 27th of May. We should be able to get that one. That would be good. We kind of gotta break England's naval strength right now. They, I mean, they have more heavies. I can probably still pick off a couple of their fleets just unprotected. Hopefully, at least. Um, sieging down things pretty important. Not sure if I really want to, like, waste my naval. Uh, uh, my my manpower on kicking these guys out of my country. I mean, we're kind of picking up some devastation over here. At least it's reducing the prosperity. So that's definitely something to consider. Mm. All right. Are we much above our naval limit? Yeah, quite a bit. I'm paying 1.4 ducats for being above. That should solve itself, though, with like getting the next idea. And that would also give us the platoon fire. Nice. That's going to be really good. And that would also give us plus 15% trade efficiency then. Man, we really got to try to rush um, and get there with the Diplo Power. Okay then. Uh, so what do we do? Do we attack these guys? Well, we can definitely tell our subject to be 
supportive now, so that they actually stick to that army, and that should be enough. Be supportive, you bums! Well, I'm gonna let them leave my country. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna recall the diplomat with Baden. Okay, so, now. A consort of the people. We could lose 80 ducats and 50 admin. And Holland gets minus two natural unrest. I mean, that's actually pretty nice. But yeah, I think we're going to take the legitimacy, uh, which has suffered a little bit. I'd rather keep my money at this point, because we might have to build uh, ships and all. So how are things over here? These guys are all repaired, except for that one cork, which we're going to split off in any case. Um, what about that smaller fleet with my five ships? You guys are not quite ready. That's all right, though. So I think we're just going to try to... Ah, damn it, no. I want to have the Dutch Warfleet selected and these guys merge that into the Dutch Warfleet. Having a couple of transports is definitely going to be good. Uh, I think we're just going to try to catch that fleet. Just try to whittle their fleets down. If I... Oh, wait. Ah, oh, damn it. I really would have liked to catch that British trading fleet over there. Doesn't really matter. We just want to go out, make some small forays. And then get away again. And yeah, we captured two ships. I mean, it's two lights, but two light ships are still two ships. Um, they're also only barks. And they seem like they're likely to actually just go down. That's gonna be kinda rough. Um, so yeah. Graf Anton Günther and Graf Christian. Alright then. Whatever you say. Okay, we're fighting over here. This is not really what I wanted. Ooh, <laughs> we can capture one of the British heavies over here. Ah, uh, no, we can't. Oh, come on. Damn you. We should be able to catch these guys, though. I mean, this is a fast fleet. I have no idea why that heavy was able to get into harbor. But, oh well. Should try to not let them join up. We're fighting three of the British heavies over here. Uh, 15 of their transport ships and some lights. Um, Battle of East Friesland is kind of done. We're going to move into Oldenburg to completely stack wipe them. That is going to be good. I think I will actually um, pull the Dutch war fleet out as well. Um, we have uh, two of three leaders. Oh man, this is going to suck, but I'm going to recruit an explorer. Albert Drente. Oh, holy cow! Yes! 6321 Albert you're the best. Uh, come on, move in there. I'm going to bring the war fleet. Okay, stack wipe. That happened over here. It's a fort level 1, which means we should easily be able to take it. Come on, move your bum, you lazy. Lazy guys. <laughs> Uh, we lost, I think, a couple of trading ships. Um, these guys are getting the wooden wall, which is not very helpful. But yeah, we have a much better fire, modif uh, fire uh, modifier than they do. And uh, we captured three ships. Um, we lost four lights. We gained three transport ships. Meh. It's not really what I wanted. <laughs> That's like... The least good outcome that I could have had, but I guess I, I guess I take it. These guys can be merged. They're all trading ships. We're kind of fighting with our trading ships, which I'm okay with. Let's bring the war fleet back. We're gonna use the war fleet then to sail into the Caribbean. I haven't really upgraded these Caracs as well. Um, would cost us a bunch of money, so I'm just gonna leave them as Caracs, and we're just gonna replace them. Whenever it comes to it. I think we're just going to have the war fleet lay in Amsterdam instead of uh, Den Haag. This does have the shipyard, which reduces the ship repair time. I think we might actually profit from having that over here, too. It also increases our naval force. I mean, I guess we kind of want that in all our coastal provinces, in the long run, at least. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we'll beat an English fleet. It's definitely helpful. We don't really want to venture out... And be too adventurous, eh? So, yeah. Being a bit careful is definitely part of the plan. 
Um, let's merge these. Should be able to repair rather quickly here. What do we get? Uh, we get some small ticks. It's not amazing. Okay, we, we'll just pull these guys out. Um, they don't have to be repaired. Uh, I think these guys as well. Mm, I think we'll send the quick ships over here just to blockade that port. And then we'll have the other guys... Blockade that place. Yeah, 100% blockaded. It's only one province over here. It's only one province over there. I guess we could actually blockade the Dogger Bank if we wanted to really hurt England. Question is, how much aggressive expansion will we actually incur if I if I just take these three provinces? 77? Holy frick. Yeah, I don't think that's an option. Burgundy, Bohemia... Bremen, Brandenburg, Dithmarschen, Münster. Yeah, everyone is gonna is gonna pile on me. Let's clear the offer. Let's see if we take them as a vassal. It's still it's still rough, but I think it's doable. Bohemia will not join because apparently they won't care about it. Yeah, I think I think that's the better that's the better play here. That is definitely the better play. Even if it's gonna take a while to integrate them, I mean, at least we will have that land like safe. So that's something. Um, we're gonna improve with Bohemia, though. Uh, make sure they make absolutely sure they stay out of any coalition. We probably should improve with Münster. We can actually do that at least a little bit. France still wants into the war, but I kind of want to keep my favors um, for taking Eno over there. Whenever there is an opportunity um, that presents itself, we're gonna lose that claim in a little bit. We're gonna lose that claim in a little bit as well, I think. But we, we just gotta reclaim them. Um, whenever an opportunity presents itself to attack Denmark and its super strong alliance with Poland and Pomerania, um, we definitely want to go for it. It's going to be rough, though. That is going to be difficult. Hmm, maybe we could actually go and fabricate, like, a trade conflict on Pomerania. Ally with Denmark, England, and Würzburg. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be difficult to attack any of the allies. Which would not allow Denmark to like go for it. I will still incur massive amounts of aggressive expansion if I just take a no then from a non-co-belligerent. But I think I can do that still and uh, just suffer the aggressive expansion, I guess. Or maybe just vassalize them then, have them transfer the subject to me. That could probably work. Right. Mm -hmm. Things are going well so far. I think I'm just going to separate peace out Oldenburg as soon as I can. We are the attacker over here. I could, um, like, order an artillery barrage, but I'm not going to. We already have, like, the walls breached and everything. This is not a problem at all. How is our siege bonus over here? It's just one, really? Uh, we're going to send our artillery in there then. Soonish, at least. Okay, but one Oldenburg. Um, they didn't even have a fleet anymore. So that means I'm just going to piece them out now, I think. We're improving with Cologne. Yeah. I'm actually going to pull that guy. It's fine. Okay, so Oldenburg. I, I just want money. Um, sue for peace. Give me your money. Yeah, that's 120 ducats. And they all go to me. War reps, for sure. Uh, you won't go for steer trade. Uh, damn it. Yeah, war reps uh, are more important, though. I kind of want the money. Let's do it. Separate piece them out. Pull our troops over here. Okay, very good. Oldenburg accepted our offer, which means now it's only Utrecht and England. How's England looking? No one has gone for the American East Coast or Canada for that for that matter. Uh, Manhattan seems to be free now. We can actually colonize it. There was yeah, Chesapeake has like more base text. I think we might actually want to start our stuff in Chesapeake. Just because I think we had an event that kind of boosted that. And it has an estuary as well. 
Manhattan does as well. So maybe we start Chesapeake and Manhattan and then just naturally move upwards. I think we have to station troops over there, though, against the Indians. They might not be too happy with us settling there. Mm, getting these guys up to, like, five colonies is probably going to be important. So maybe we try to take Borokan as well. And then maybe Trinidad over there. Ah, Trinidad actually has access to the coast. So that might be pretty useful as, like... Something that allows us to jump onto the coast. And then uh, someone has said we should actually go for Guinea and Suriname over there. Because the um, uh, Holland has been there, has been active there um, historically. That is very true. So I think we're going to try to do that as well. So many places to colonize. So few colonists. We definitely got to push for having more colonists. But I think this is actually working pretty well. How far are you? Most of these guys are ready. It's just those two that are still holding us back. I think we're just going to drop those two barks. Um, bring these guys out. Now we're just going to move into Amsterdam for a sec. Okay. Merge those. Now we have a decent trading fleet again that we could use to hunt down some English fleets. They have like two heavies and a light over here. That's all right, I guess. Um, the edge doesn't really have, yeah, they have no cannon. So that's not a thing. We're gonna, however, send all our cannons into this place just to make sure that that thing falls soon enough. Okay, so if your fleet is not here, let's see where it is. I'm expecting they actually have it somewhere in the Irish Sea. Gotta be careful here. Gotta make sure that I can run away if push comes to shove. They have two lights over there. I might run into a trap, but uh, the chance of taking these two lights out or even just taking them for myself is very tempting for me. Oh yeah, we actually managed to capture one. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's come over here. We uh, Once that fortress falls, we're going to have the chance to actually get some fleets from there. And if we have fast ships, I think that increases our chance of capturing some ships for ourselves. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of... Oh, and England has started to colonize that one. Oh, they already have 745 settlers over here. They're really fast. 65 per year, 20%. Base value, same religion, same culture, same culture group. Production efficiency. Interesting. Production efficiency apparently helps them. Our production efficiency isn't all that great, right? Well, 36%. So what do we have in Guadeloupe? 13.2%, really? Production efficiency, 7.2. Base value, 5%. Colony level, minus 7%. Okay, they're getting the same. They have unknown frontier, though, which is probably one of their ideas. This is tropical, which makes it kind of nasty. Um, attrition for enemies makes the development cost increase, reduces the settler increase. Yeah, yeah. You can have it, at least for now. Sweden has cancelled military access. I can live with that. Just capturing England's fleets is something that I like very much. And that will also stop them from landing any troops on our coast. Okay. Make sure that we pull that bark into here. Because these are the ones that just need a while to be repaired. These guys should repair should be repaired in an instant. The question is, do we already start to ferry troops into the Caribbean right now? Um, how is the balance of power? So, Utrecht has four heavies, England has six, England has 11 lights and 12 transports. So if we wait until Utrecht falls over here, I should actually, I should not mix the, the English and the Dutch pronunciation. I should just, just say Utrecht. 
uh, not not mix those. So if we wait until that falls, their fleet will be forced out of harbor, and we can probably, with our two fleets, um, cleanly smush it. Maybe even capture some heavies. The British fleet or the the English fleet is, I think, completely holed up over here. Is I think what's happening. Mm, four heavies, eight lights. They must have one other fleet kicking around somewhere. The question is where? If they're using it to defend their colonies, that could be kind of annoying. I don't know. I don't know. But if we if we like blockade this place, that should at least stop them from just being able to bring that fleet to bear on on the colonies. We can just put them into a defensive position in Sussex. Okay, we're gonna pull that guy back from Cologne. Gonna try to improve with Münster a little bit more. Like, our relations are gonna go down. Cologne's not gonna be happy. I could have probably forced Oldenburg to, like, give back stuff. Oldenburg is actually not that mad at me. <laughs> just gonna improve with them. I mean, I haven't really taken anything from them, so... I guess they're happy about that. Um, it's going to take a while. We're only 12% towards winning. Um, let's merge these guys. We, we have way too many people on here, so... we like, going to pull the majority of our troops out. It's just not necessary to take all that attrition on a huge amount of people. Let's just keep the cannons in, and that's that. We have no siege general, right? Yeah, the only one... Who has who have siege um, pips are actually our admirals, which is kind of amazing, I gotta say. <laughs> uh, we have eighteen percent army tradition, but yeah, the nobility doesn't really like us because we haven't given them any provinces. Don't think I'm gonna start with that right now. Saint Eustatius is now producing coffee. Okay, so producing coffee over here, coffee over here, and uh, producing cotton over there. This colony is moving towards self-sustainability, which is going to be good. And no one's military access. I kind of don't think so. No. I mean, they really hate me too, so... Irritated over claims. Yeah, gee, what could I possibly want with a claim on you? They're very irritated. How could this happen? What could they want from us? We don't understand these Dutch people. Uh, most of these are actually getting repaired pretty nicely. I think we're going to pull our fleet over here <clears throat> to make sure that that, uh, that Utrechtian fleet gets caught. And yeah, those barks that we captured are almost completely finished as well. Okay, Denmark has the Count's Feud. That's actually kind of a nasty event. <laughs> Okay, one more, one more. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fall already! It's a fort level 3, but still, that is holding out for a long time. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. I'm going to improve with Nassau, I think. Improve relations. We, start, we want to stay at war until... Until we've uh, done what we wanted to do in the Caribbean, which is burn those two colonies down. Well, maybe we're going to keep uh, Maracaibo. Let's actually have a look at the colonial regions. That's going to gonna tell us where our colonial um, stuff is going to happen. Government types? Geographical, I guess. Areas, colonial and trade regions. Okay, so this is colonial Colombia. This is colonial Caribbean. This is um, colonial Eastern America. So, um, you can only have one colonial nation per colonial area. So, yeah, that's kind of how that works. Right, right. Okay, okay. This is all colonial Brazil. Colonial La Plata. All right, then. Good to know, good to know. Come on, just fall already. I'm going to bring that fleet out, and we're going to have it merge with the trading fleet. Nope. <laughs> uh, we have a disease outbreak now amongst our troops. God damn it. 57%. They have, like, they, all, they also have reduced 
Local defensiveness? I have no idea why that one is not happening. I'm just having incredibly bad luck. They only have half the garrison in there. Okay, finally. Okay, so now their ships are coming out. I'm gonna pull all troops into Den Haag. Okay, ten ships. Ah, and there are the English ships. They know that we're busy. Where are they going? They're trying to merge up. Okay, we captured some. Uh, what did we capture? Two more transport ships. I'm gonna go for slow speed here. Um, so, pull these. I want them merged into the war fleet. So, we can now transport 12 regiments, which is okay, I guess. Um, can we? No. Even if we sail super fast, we're not able to catch those guys. I will try, though. I want to see where they're trying to move. They're actually moving out of their colonial space. Um, move over here. I'm probably trying to merge all their fleets into one, maybe. Or maybe they're just trying to... Oh, yeah! That is good. We caught three of their... Three of their big ships. Okay, we're gonna pull back from Munster. Very good. That is a battle that I like. And um, we're gonna send our big ships, big ships into that fleet as well, or into that battle. Guess we kind of wanna blockade the Utrechtian fleet over there for a while at least, I guess. Um, done with these guys. I guess we should actually push with Würzburg. Würzburg really doesn't like us. Uh, I think it's been a while since we improved relations. Yeah, only five. So we can definitely move them more towards the positive. We're gonna spawn a coalition. And the few people actually join that coalition, the better. Okay, we captured no ships. We lost two lights. And they only lost one. God damn it! That was a bad battle. We're gonna move in here. Try to capture some of those ships. Okay. I think the transport ships are really holding us down. Fast ships are on their own are actually doing pretty well. We lost another uh, light, but this time they lost four of their heavies, which is really what I wanted. That is hurting them a ton, I'd say. And I mean, they're busy. They're busy building light ships, but... Yep, and we caught the rest of the Utrechtian fleet. Of the Utrecht fleet. Um, they lost another two transports. Upper Gilders. We lost the claim. We definitely have to get that one back. Um, so. Let's pull those out. Um, let's get rid of the Dutch trading fleet. Merge these into the war fleet. Uh, we're going to have these guys repair in Flanders. We're going to have these guys repair in Den Haag. All in all, though, not too bad. Oh, there's the, there's the British main fleet. Okay, then. I guess this is going to be the battle of decision. Come on, guys. You can do this. They only have one heavy. They have no leader. Six lights and 16 transports. Yeah, okay. We killed six of their light ships. Of almost as many transports as they do now. I always thought um, they had too many, but oh well. <laughs> uh, I guess I should kind of establish a blockading fleet over there, though. I think I will. I think we actually will. With the new function of repairing, of splitting up uh, ships that need to be repaired, I think we're going to do it like that. Um, Repair damage ships. That keeps us with 25 lights in here, which is still a decent amount, actually. That is still a very decent amount to do things. We're going to send these into Den Haag. I think these guys are going to repair in Flanders. Where are you going? Yeah, Den Haag as well. Okay. That is fine. We're going to merge our troops. And I think it's kind of time to ferry troops in the into the Caribbean in the next episode. I think we did pretty well in this episode. Just want to stop that from actually becoming a viable thing. So, we are got to rush to that. Um, don't think the British fleet is very strong anymore. This is almost all their fleet, I think. Well, they still got some some heavies still kicking around. Some free heavies or something. Oh, we still did not manage to kill all of the fleet of Utrecht. Okay. Okay, okay. I see how it is. 
They have no lights. They still... Yeah, and they also have no transports. So Utrecht only has two heavies. Really would like to destroy those. But I guess that's not going to happen. For now, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Hope I see you next episode. Bye-bye.